In this video, we are going to be discussing the SQL basics, and this one we're going to be discussing joins involving uh, left joins and a few situations that we're going to look at involving uh, left joins. So just as a quick review, uh, some languages may not support these uh, join types, so you'll definitely want to verify as we go through this series. And another quick review here is these are the two tables that we are going to be working with. As we see, table 1 has ID letter val, and table 2 has ID letter and val. We see that there's two IDs that overlap. None of the letters overlap, and none of the vowels overlap. So that's uh, key to note. So let's look at, first of all, the, the basic of a left join when we have some matches. So let's go back to these, these tables here, and let's ask what will happen if we left join table 1 to table 2. Well, we're going to get back all of the records in table 1. Um, this is the, what, uh, the way that left join works. We can get all of the records back in table 1 along with what is matched in table 2. Now think about what I said. It's along with what is matched. So we're going to get all the records back if we do a left join. If we're selecting from table 1 and we left join to table 2, we'll get all of these records back. Uh, but we're also along with, I should say, not but, but along with the records that match with table 2. So what happens if records don't match? And we see, of course, if we look at these uh, tables, uh, 3 and 4 are going to match, but 1 and 2 are not. And we see what happens with this result here. We get 1 and 2 that come back because they're part of table 1, and we also get 3 and 4 because they're part of table 1. But we see that we don't get anything. We get nulls back for table 2 for 1 and 2 because those don't exist. So what left join does is it's going to return everything in table 1 and along with what's also exist in table 2. But if it doesn't exist in table 2, it just is going to null. We'll see why that's uh, useful in a second. And we do the same thing here with table 2. So we're going to select everything from table 2. And we're also we're going to be left joining table 1. And we're going to get back the result where there's matches in table 1 along with. And we see what happens. 3 and 4, of course, come back on uh, table uh, 1 here. But we see that on table 2, uh, we have that 5 and 6 that come back. But we don't have anything that returns for table 1. So one of the things that we can see is that this is one of the effects of left join. So we get some matches. Um, if there are some matches, what happens if there's no matches? So let's go ahead and let's use letter in this case. So let's join table one on letter to table two, or select from, I should say, table one, letter, and uh, do a join on letter uh, with table two. And what we see is we get back everything in table one, but we get back nothing in table two. All of these values are null. And why is that? It's because there's no letters that overlap between table one and table two. Okay. So one of the advantages of this, and this will make more sense as well next week when we discuss another type of join, is we can actually use left joins as a filter. Right. So in this query here, what we're doing is we're selecting everything from table one. We're left joining table two on this ID field. So if we go back to this field here, our, the, our data, I'm sorry, uh, we see we're selecting, we're uh, doing a join on this ID field. So we know that if we select from table one and we left join table two, we're going to get back four records, right? But only two of those records for table two are going to be present. Two of the records are going to be null because there is no one and two. So when we look at this query here, uh, what we see is that we get this one and two, and that's because we're stating here on this filter where T2 ID is null. So we're saying, give me the records in table one that don't exist in table two based on this ID field. So we're using this ID is null as a filter. And by the way, we could do it the other way around. If we wanted to select the records in table one that exist in table two, we could say where table uh, where T2 ID is not null, right? So we can use the left join as a filter, but notice how when we select from a table using a left join, this is very important for reports, we are going to get all of the records back from the table we select from, unless we use a where clause. That is the exception. Keep in mind, if we're filtering on the table, for instance, if I put a filter here where T1 ID equals 1, I'm only going to get the records where the ID equals 1. But if there's no filter on the table that we're selecting from, with a left join, we are going to get all the records uh, from the table that we're selecting from.